Maria, how are you? Welcome. Great. Thank you so much. It's good to be with you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you. Tell me, I just wanted to ask you a couple of things. Uh, how do you, uh, what inspired you to do these uh, radio shows and then go on to TV also? Um, for me, journalism is a service. Um, I grew up never seeing someone like me doing journalism in the United States. I grew up never hearing someone like me telling stories about someone like me. So, um, so that's why I do this. I understand now, in particular, in this moment in history, in 2016, how important it is for all of us to have voice, in particular for Latinos as one of the fastest growing um, ethnic groups in our country. I don't use the term minority. I don't see myself, I don't see Latinos as members of a minority group. Um, but because we are so fast growing, it's so important for us to share our voices and our perspective. Um, and we are playing a role in American history. And I know that Latino USA plays a role in American history. That's what motivates me. And Latino USA is broadcasted uh, all over the nation? Yes, it's heard across the country. But the great thing about now is that on your phone, you can go to iTunes and get latinousa.org whenever you want. How about your TV uh, program? Is we will be something? back in the fall on PBS with America by the Numbers with a primetime special, an hour primetime special. But right now, we wanted to keep our presence um, alive in video, so we have a digital short series. It's called humanizingamerica.org. Um, we've distributed through NBCNews.com, through Al Jazeera uh, most recently. You just go to humanizingamerica.org and you can see it. Is there a podcast for that or not? Not a podcast, um, but that's an idea. We could make it into a podcast. What we are doing with podcasts right now is a podcast called In the Thick, and it's a political roundtable of journalists talking about race and the race to the White House. And the program Latino USA, does that have a podcast? Yes, and Latino USA has a podcast. So podcast Latino USA, In the Thick, um, digital uh, video, humanizingamerica.org, and on television, americabythenumbers.org. Very good. Now, you're involved in so many things, and um, I'm always curious. How do you balance your life as a mother, wife, producer? It's hard. Um, right now, I'm looking at the clock because I have to be back tonight for my daughter's performance, which is great. I'm going to be able to see her both nights that she's performing, but next week, I'm going to miss my husband's birthday. Um, the balance that I try to believe in is that when I'm here, where I am right now, at Springfield Technical Community College, um, in the basement in the green room getting ready to give a speech, I'm here. I'm not thinking about all of this. Um, and when I'm with my daughter or with my husband or with my son, I am there. I'm not looking at the phone. I'm not working. I'm there fully. And I think that's the only way that you can achieve a semblance of balance. Um, but again, what really keeps me understanding is that this is history. We're all making history. And this is a really important moment, everyone. I hope you become engaged. We Very need you. Good. Is that the, that's the main message you want to give to our Latino, especially our youth? Yeah, but to everybody. It's not just Latinos. It's to everybody, right? Th this country is entirely diverse, multicultural, multi-ethnic, lo que tú quieras. We are that. So now it's about elevating our voices, right? And, and, uh, and, and working together and understanding that there's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear about our future changing um, with diversity, with um, inclusion. There's nothing to fear. It's going to be great. But we need everybody playing a role, everybody owning their voice in our democracy. Very good. Thank you so much, Maria. You're such a huge inspiration to many of us. Thank you. Thank you.